Greetings, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Conan Exiles. This is Cleric, and how is everybody doing today? How's everybody doing? I'm doing very well. I'm excited, actually, because... As of this episode, I have officially reached and surpassed... Ooh, mic pop. Gotta watch the mic pop. One hundred subscribers 100 absolutely amazing people who have punched the subscribe button and possibly the like button as well which by the way if you guys find yourselves enjoying this video please do so it helps me out a lot and I would really appreciate it fist pump for you guys thank you very much I'm very excited to have reached this milestone and obviously I can't do it without you guys I am not entertaining. Well, I am quite entertaining to myself. I laugh at myself constantly, but that's not the point. <laughs> oh, it's good to be back in Conan Exiles and with you guys. I'm going to need a drink soon. And da, 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 da. Uh, I've done some things off Camry in between episodes. We have our tannery full of a bunch of crap that people keep throwing at me on this server. Looking at you, Jade, and uh, I think Catham's been by, and uh, Mud might have been the person to give me the Eye of Con bow, which, by the way, is a pretty darn cool, it's a legendary bow. Legendary. I've only got three foothead arrows for it, but, well, I mean, that's kind of beside the point. It's awesome! It's amazing! So I'm super excited about that. Uh, with all of the iron nodes that are, like, right on my doorstep, I have quite a bit of iron made up. I have a couple pieces of silver, which I have no clue where I got. Actually, I think I got them off of thralls. I think I got them off of thralls. Uh, and then you've got, where is it? Uh, this. Fine metal crafts. Make silver and gold coins. I'm really wondering what the silver and gold coins are for, but I'm not going to get into that right now. This is not going to be our permanent base, so there's not really a point in me really getting anything more than what is necessary. It's getting dark. Wonderful! We have a carpenter's bench full of a bunch more very interesting things, uh, including some heads. Uh, we have this, which uh, the cutlass I found in a box. Uh, apparently Pippi's mod adds loot boxes that can be put around the map, and I found one of them, and I got a cutlass, had the black hand flag, which is over there, put your hands down, uh, and, uh, the black hand shirt and trousers, uh, more stuff left by, uh, as they're known on the server, Ren, lots of meat, so, yeah, there's all that. Uh, I was interested to see what exactly, how exactly this whole uh, farming thing works. This confuses me because if I take the aloe leaves out, look, there's nothing there. But if I put the aloe leaves in, you just got aloe plants there, but it never increases. Uh, you make the fertilizer with putrid meat, plant fiber, or vines, I Think. And then bone meal, which you get from grinding up uh, horns and bones and teeth and stuff. That gives you some compost. But uh, I've put the compost in here. And it hasn't really done anything. I'm just storing seeds in that one. Uh, I imagine if I put compost in there that something will start... Well, maybe something will start. See, I really don't understand how this works yet. So... Um, Check that out. I made myself all iron tools. Iron pick. Uh, iron uh, hatchet, obviously. Oh, that's the bow. Get the torch back out. Let's see. I made a cleaver. I made a skinning knife. And I made myself... Oh, we can't see it. Turn it. You know what? Uh, what do we need to make... What do we need to make a torch? My attributes are as follows as of this point. 5 in strength, 6 in agility, 4 in vitality, 4 in accuracy. Uh, 
Arrows are a pain to get because you need feathers, and I have no idea where to get feathers. So we haven't done uh, a ton of shooting. Uh, grit, I've got the first uh, token. I'm going to call it a token. Uh, strong grip. Less stamina when you climb is very nice. Encumbrance is quite a bit more because if we're going to be moving, which I can show you where we'll be moving here soon, um, I want to be able to carry my stuff, obviously. But I don't understand what this plus five thing is. Maybe that's the base stat that I get from what it... I, I, I don't understand. Uh, but anyway, let's see here. Beats... I do the search bar because it makes it easier. Okay, that's not exactly what I'm looking for. Ooh, you know what? I might have to make the furniture maker in order to make torches. Crap. You know what? I'm just going to wait until it's daytime and I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, and with the red glow of the rising sun shining off the rocks behind me, I present to you the first weapon I wish to master, the spear. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. Uh, so one of my goals uh, in this series, since combat has changed and is uh, definitely a larger aspect of the game. There's more to learn. There's more weapons. Um, there's combos now, which I have been, as you can see, the durability on some of these things, I have been practicing to kind of and experimenting to kind of figure out what exactly goes on with the weapons and things. And we will implement them today. Uh, but I want to learn and master each of the weapon types. Uh, at least to a degree. But I can go ahead and show you. Uh, let's go down here. So with the spear, you've got a couple of different things you can do. Uh, left click is your basic attack, and it's just kind of a slash. You can do... So combos are a maximum of four. Uh, four strikes for a full combo. So you can kind of do... Yeah, as you can see, he does a like a stab swipe and then a, a pummel with the back of the spear. If you click it twice, one, two, and three, does a little bit more of an AOE. And then one, two, three, and four, lots of AOE um, with just basic attacks. And that won't drain your stamina as much. Then there's your right click, which is a stab. Can do stab, stab. Um, one, two, three. Okay, and then the fourth one. That's your heavy finisher with the spear. Now, if you want to use less stamina, uh, not using so many heavy attacks, you can do one, two, three. Oh, come on. With your regular attack, one two, three, and then your heavy attack. So there's all kinds of combos that you can do. And uh, each weapon type has a different looking combo. I know like with the uh, broadsword, like the stone, not broadsword, long, big, heavy sword thing. The big one. The big two-handed two sword. That's it. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, the two-handed sword. Um, the stone version, your heavy attack wouldn't be that kind of red effect that you saw. It would be like a purple. So, different weapon types have different, uh, different colors, apparently. And that, I thought that was interesting. There's two crocodiles that usually live right over here, as you can see. I'll demonstrate some of this combat. Come on. You can press Q while looking at them to lock on. We're going to go one, two, three, heavy, nope, I screwed it up. There we go. As you can see, uh, I took no damage. The attacks kind of do a knockback or an interrupt or something. 
However, after a full attack... Oh, he got me there. After a full combo, you have to wait a second before you can attack again. Which is where I would probably... Uh, roll, which is alt. I might keep buying that to something else. I don't need more crocodile hide and stuff. I've got plenty. Let's go ahead and heal up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I made a, a light armor as well, as you can see. I forgot to mention that. But today, to say thank you to you guys uh, for all of the support for me, my channel, and my episodes, uh, we're going to go fight the nasty big crocodile up there and see just how tough this sucker is. Oh, oh, this guy's aggressive. This guy, yeah, no. And dodge. Ah, sucker. Got him. Yeah, he comes around every once in a while. Uh, by the way, regeneration by eating food is not going to be as big a thing as it once was, I believe. Uh, I watched the dev, or I should say I listen to the dev streams while I'm at work. So that's going to be different. Uh, it's going to be more through potions and bandages, I think, later? I don't know. We'll have to see how they change that. Uh, but let's sneak on up here. Sneak as I just kind of like run through all the bushes. And see where this guy is. Get the spear out. Hey, Johnny! There he is. Hey, buddy! Yeah, that's right. Come get me. Oh, no, no, no. It doesn't let me... Oh, there we go. I locked onto him there. Uh, and then I unlocked. Woo! I need to lock back onto this guy. Come on. Ooh! Oh my gosh! That does so much damage! He's a little bloody. Oh, I'm out of... Yeah! <laughs> I didn't look at his health bar. Can I even damage him with iron? You killed by giant crocodile. Oh, no kidding. Okay. Oh boy. Well. It seems as though uh, more subscribers does not technically mean more uh, mechanical prowess or battle ability. I am sorry to say, my friends. Oh my gosh, that thing is... I Oh. One of these days. One of these days. First arch nemesis of the server. Of the game. Of things. Yes. Uh, top left, people are like, wait, I, I've seen, or I've heard, I, lo I, I listen to a lot of YouTube while I'm working, um, people are like, yeah, I didn't respawn with full health, they'd be like, what gives, is there a bug or something, no, it's intended, uh, if you're slain in combat, you do not respawn with full health, and that is because of the purge, they don't want you just, like, completely cheesing it. So, yeah. Uh, we have... Salatio's instructions? As well? Is something else I want to do today? Uh, and this was... I found it in here, with the bow. So, thank you, whoever you are, who's given me the things. It was very nice of you. Uh... But, if we take a look at it... Oh, also, Shay stopped by with a Sandstorm breathing mask. And that was very nice, because apparently... Uh, if you're running around out in the desert and you come across a Sandstorm, it's like bad news bears big time. So, And also, Tan Ambrosia, which is nice! It's very nice. But if we go ahead and look at this info... On the east side of the Black Hand ship, there's an anchor. From the anchor, take 45 steps, walk... Don't run north. Turn east, take 50 steps, then turn south and take 25 more steps. Finally, turn east and take 150 steps. 
There, hidden at the base of a mighty tree, is my chest. Okay. Well, the Black Hand ship, the Black Galleon, just happens to be up this way. The problem is, is there's anchors all over the place. There's like three anchors that I know of. There's two down in here, and then there's one up on the cliff face. So, I need to actually figure out which anchor it's talking about. So if we look at the map, oh, this is a good, a good time to explain a couple of things. By the way, this is not a glitch either. Uh, the devs did that on purpose. It kind of shows you where you're allowed to go and what's off limits. So if it's gray, you can't go there, even by teleport, I think is what they said. Um, I've run around the Black Galleon a little bit before. That's where I found the chest. It was actually directly beneath it uh, that had the banner and stuff. But I want to build my permanent base, or at least the initial one, right in here on these cliff tops. Uh, that gives us good access to the Black Galleon, the desert with all of its resources, the north with all of its resources, uh, New Asgarth, and then, you know, all the thrall camps and things up through here, uh, the, uh, the keep, and so we're, like, fairly central, except for, this is where I used to get my brimstone, and we're not very close to Sepamaru. But uh, it does put us fairly close to the volcano, which will be coming out on release. And the Swungle, as it's being called, over here. So, pretty central area. And I think it will work very nicely for our, uh, our cause. But, as you can see, there's a anchor down there. Oh, I forgot to look. Uh, if this is north... Then, this, this is north, on the east side of the galleon, so this, this, wait, if we're, if we face north, let's face north, this will make things easier, if we face north, west is to our right, oh, so, Is that right? No, 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 no. Facing north. West is to our left. Okay, so we need to be on the Swungle side of the Galleon. Oh, there's guys over here. Okay. Uh. So there's this. But you can't really hit. You run into a cliff. I don't think that's going to be the anchor. So the other one is... The other anchor is up here somewhere. Oh yeah, see? It's up there. Right, right there. So let's run over here and avoid messing with the pirates for now. Okay, we gotta get up there. Let me get up there. I'll come back. Okay, so I took a nasty fall trying to get up here, but we're here. Uh, and there's a dude over there. Anyway, so let's let's bleh, take a look at this again. Uh, from the anchor, take 45 steps, walk, don't run north. So that way. Whoa! Wait a second. Is that the volcano there? And what are the... I don't remember. Maybe I just haven't looked this way before. But those spires. Ooh. Okay. Oh, we're getting thirsty. Okay, let's do this. So north. We move. Okay, north, 45 steps, right? North, 45 steps. East, 50 steps. South, and 25. Oh, boy. 
we gotta go through a camp. Okay. Uh... Oh yeah, that was bad. That was bad. Okay, well, I think we're right about where we need to be. As far as going this way. Uh... Alright, combat time. Oh, that spear hurts. I'm almost out of stamina. I'm almost dead. Okay. This isn't going well. Uh crap. Crap, 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 crap. Oh my gosh, you're gonna follow me to the ends of the earth. Stay away from me! I think they can get up here. Can we still cheese it this way? Ooh, ooh. Oh gosh, if I get hit once. Okay, here we go again. We'll see who's left here, and we're going to do this more professionally. Get our stamina back up. Who's left? Nobody? Oh! He's over there. Okay, well, I'll rummage through your chest. Don't mind... if I do. Uh, breathing potion? Sure, I'll leave you the rocks. How's that? Uh, okay, so... I think it's about right here. <laughs> Skip back to this. Uh, 45, 50 steps. Turn south and take 25 more steps. And then east and 150. Okay, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I probably counted that wrong. Because, uh, we hit a wall. Ugh. This is this is a little harder than it, you would think. Uh, and then... What's this? East, 150 steps. Okay. Well, let's start walking this way. What's going on? What's going on? Oh my gosh! What is that doing over here? I think we found the chest, but... Ah! Oh my gosh! I'm gonna die. What is that doing over here? No, don't kick! What are you doing? Oh my... Oh my word. What is that doing over here? Somebody help me! Oh, I just took a lot of damage from that. What is that? Seriously, what is that doing over here? Uh, ha, 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 ha. Also, I think this is more of like a trot because these uh, measurements are not coming up. Uh, like the footsteps, paces, whatever you want to call them. Uh... Oh my word, what is that doing over here? Uh, they're not working out the way they should. Because I only went like 48 God. steps this way. But, uh, here's a chest. 
Ooh, don't mind if I do. Uh. That's terrifying. I am now very hurt. Uh, so let's try not to run into, uh, anything else super deadly, shall we? And see if we can't get... Oh my gosh. I'm super nervous now. Uh, I want to see if the area that I would like to build my base in is going to be available. Can I get off of here without hurting myself? There we go. There is a perk that makes it so you take less fall damage. I should look into that. Um, but yeah, I want to see if I can't scout out that area where I want to build our base. Base building is also going to be rather interesting this time. There's more guys over here. Uh, because of the purge. So there's a lot more to consider uh, when you're building a permanent base location. Base location? Base in a location what is this place this looks cool let's see if we can't climb up here really fast um because of the purge and uh, there's a lot of factors that go into that first is uh depending on the location is how hard the purge is going to be this is kind of an interesting spot uh how hard the purge is going to be uh, depends on how far north you are. The further north you are, the harder it gets. We plan on building moderately in the north, so the chances of us encountering a fairly decent... Oh, gosh! <laughs> oh, this game has become more terrifying. I'm not interested in fighting you. Let me... Oh, gosh. Okay, you know what? And four. Dodge back. Dodge his attack. One, two, three, and four. Oh, he got me. One, two. Okay. Oh, my gosh. We took a lot da less damage than uh, we probably would have normally... Can I? Oh, there's no one. Oh. This is going to be bad. Uh. Crap. Let's see if we can't sneak around. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. That guy's almost definitely going to see us. Yep, he saw us. Don't want to run out of stamina right here. We've got some climbing to do. Uh, so, there's a lot of design that should go into... I can't remember if I'm actually continuing on the right thread uh, of conversation here or not. But, there's a lot more to take into consideration in the actual design of your base as well. Because... Uh, you need to be able to defend your place with thralls effectively now as well. Um, now, in medieval architecture, there's a lot of overlapping bastions and... Uh, this might be a good place to go up. Yep. Uh, turrets and things. I really like the medieval style because of the defensive mindedness of it and so I'm probably going to be trying to design a fairly significantly uh, let's take care of some of our encumbrance shall we Can we climb better looks like it uh, I'm probably going to be trying to design something fairly similar in concept so as well as a place to live, we're going to be building a fortress. Oh, hello, ghost wall. Crap. Uh, how close can I get to this ghost wall? Where am I? Oh, we need to go that way more. Yep, definitely go that way more. 
Gotta be careful, because I don't want to die in the ghost wall. I do want to see if our building area is available, though. Getting there. We're going to need more food. We're probably going to get cold. Oh, man. Uh, that looks terrifying. Yeah. That looks very terrifying. Uh, oh, and the ghost wall got us. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh. All right. Well, that is unfortunate. At least we kind of, well, we did a couple of things. Uh, we found a chest. We now know that the Spider Queen, for whatever reason, roams the desert, which is absolutely terrifying. Put your shirt back on, dude. Just absolutely terrifying. Oh my word. I don't even know why. Uh, we found some gold coins, which is amazing. We're gonna stick those somewhere safe and use them somehow? Ugh, I don't even have room anywhere. Uh, the reason we're not wearing these, by the way, is encumbrance via your armor. Uh, like the agility perk apparently really matters now. So, uh, I put on the black hand stuff for a while, and it was just like, okay, your mobility is like 25% lower now. Congratulations. So, for the sake of being able to move around, um, I have the light armor on, which, I mean, it seems like it does fine. So, anyways, guys, uh, I've died a lot. And I have done a lot of running around this episode. So I don't think I'm going to attempt to get back up to that uh, northern area to see if that's open yet. Uh, we have some more preparations to do. And I think once those preparations are complete, we will just up and move instead. Uh, but I should spend some time doing that as I've spent a lot of time traveling around and doing some questing and things. But again, I want to thank all of you guys who have subscribed to me. The first 100 subscribers to my channel, you will be forever known as the Legion of the Order. Um, also, down in the comments, I need your guys' help. So, with a clan name, we can either go with the Order. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, the most recent update has made it so that nothing has an owner. It's really odd. Uh, we can either have the clan name of the Order, or I have a new idea, which would be to name our clan after whatever crimes we had committed. So if you remember in episode one, uh, it was, uh, villainy and, uh, rapscality, which I didn't even know was a word, uh, impersonating a priestess, it was wonderful, lovely, uh, and punching a camel. So, uh, torch. Hi, hi. How are you? Uh, so the alternate name would be the Camel Punching Sand Princesses. Woo! Uh, <laughs> so uh, down in the comments, I need you guys to tell me which one of those we should name the clan. And uh, if I get a response or enough of responses for either one then uh, by next episode oh wonderful timing by next episode we will have repairing torch a clan name come on torch repair torch repair torch repair I need a torch repair man there we go anyways guys that's gonna be all for today's episode again Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't, please consider doing so. Join the order. And uh, we, uh, we have a lot of fun. And there's a lot of screaming. And it's awesome. Yeah. Anyways, guys. 
that's going to be all for today. I hope you've had a good one. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.